Hi everyone, I'm Nadia and welcome back to my channel, All Things Now. On my channel, we discuss all things health and wellness, all things food and nutrition, and all things skincare and beauty. Let's get into the video. Hi everyone, glad to have you here again. If you are new here, welcome. So glad you decided to be here today. So guys, today we are on the genre of health and wellness, or it could be food and nutrition as well. So the topic for today is eight tips to live healthy on a budget. Yes, eight tips to live healthy on a budget. So guys, number one, shop locally. So what do I mean by shop locally? Go to your supermarket, go to your farmer's market. Guys, I wish I lived somewhere where there was a farmer's market close by. So guys, if you wanna shop, eat healthy, go to your supermarket, your local supermarket. It doesn't have to be somewhere fancy smanchy, guys. It doesn't have to. Because I know there are a lot of supermarkets out there that are very, expensive we're not gonna call in any names but again guys we're on a budget we want to stretch our dollar as far as it can go so I would say definitely go to a farmers market you'd be surprised guys that when you go to a farmers market you're getting healthier foods you're getting more natural fruits and vegetables at a lower price that you would pay at your grocery store. So guys, to stretch that money and to stay on that budget, think about your culture, keep your culture in mind, and shop locally. Another way to stay healthy on a budget is, you don't have to eat organic all the time, guys. Yes, I'm telling you this, you do not have to eat organic all the time. I know it is better, right? So I'm going to tell you that it is better to eat organic fruits and vegetables. So guys, if you know it's that season for tomatoes, it's that season for mangoes, it's that season for grapes, it's that season for cherries, right? Because everything, guys, all fruits and vegetables i know we're in america where everything is so fast paced but i know where i'm from which is jamaica everything has its season but i'm here in america so i have to cater more to americans so i'm going to say and i'm going to say in general you don't have to eat organic if you cannot afford it Go to the supermarket, get your veggies, your favorite fruits and veggies, buy them, take them home, wash them really good, guys. Wash them really good with cold water, especially your grapes, especially your apples, because your grapes and your apples are very thin skin and they are known to have a lot more pesticides on them so again guys if you can't afford to buy organic it's okay to eat local fruits and vegetables and then when you can afford to buy organic then you can graduate to that level number three buy dry foods and buy canned foods so guys yes I know it is always better to eat live foods right your your live fruits and vegetables but guys once again if you can't always afford to get that authentic fruit and vegetables go ahead buy your cans whatever it is it doesn't have to be fruits and vegetables beans me personally I love beans from a can because I'm a very convenient person, I'm on the go, and so 
I know it may not be the healthiest way, but because I know my fruits and vegetables are more natural and more healthy, then I know it's okay for me to go ahead sometimes and use my canned beans. So I'm a big fan of canned beans, my red beans, my black beans, right your pinto beans any kind of beans guys i'm a bean girl i'm a beans girl again we're saving money here we're on a budget go ahead and buy that canned food or that dry food number four eat simple clean foods believe it or not guys processed foods cost more money than simple natural foods yes I will repeat that again processed foods cost more money than to eat simple and clean in my opinion I find buying ice cream especially the, the, the fancy smanchy kind I like I find ice cream and other processed foods that I like, that I enjoy eating, that I enjoy indulging in. Guys, I find that that processed food, right, processed sugar, processed carbohydrates are way more expensive than me eating that ripe banana, than me washing that apple and eating it than me grabbing for those, a handful of strawberries or a handful of blueberries. Guys, you'd be surprised to know how much more expensive snacks and processed foods are over simple, clean foods. So again, guys, I'm not saying you can't indulge once in a while and get you know your processed foods but for me over the years I can definitely tell you I can definitely tell you that me eating simple clean foods is way less expensive than eating all that processed so-called healthy food number five Back to the word simple. Use simple ingredients, guys. Go ahead and buy simple ingredients. Guys, sometimes, again, remember, we are on a budget and we still want to be healthy and maintain a healthy lifestyle. So, use simple ingredients. For example, buy fresh parsley, buy fresh oregano, you know, stuff like that fresh black pepper guys these are ingredients that god made use that fresh ginger use that fresh garlic guys all these are natural simple ingredients that you can put in your food to make it more flavorful and it's much more healthy than the package seasoning that's gonna cost you a couple of dollars because it's packaged nicely and it has all these different seasonings in there, you know? And sometimes they have binders in there that your body no does not need. Sometimes they have fillers in there that your body does not need. Sometimes they have preservatives in there that your body does not need. So guys, once again, we want to eat clean, we want to maintain a healthy lifestyle, and we're doing it on a budget. So guys, always remember, simple and clean is the best way to go. Number six, buy in bulk. I know it's gonna depend on the type of family, how large your family is. Guys, buying in bulk is always gonna be cheaper. No matter what you're buying, it's always gonna be cheaper. But once again, we're staying healthy, so we wanna buy healthy foods, healthy things, healthy products in bulk. This would work amazingly if you have a large family, right? It's, it would be just better to buy in bulk. It's you're slashing prices in half, or more than half. It's death. It's like it's common sense, guys. It's gonna be cheaper. I know for me, even though I live alone, I buy my brown rice 
And guys, when I say brown rice, it's called bulgur wheat rice or cracked rice. Bulgur cracked wheat rice. Guys, it's even cheaper than brown rice. And it's even browner than brown rice. Guys, when I look at that rice, I just feel like it's coming directly from the ground. Like, that's how I feel when I look at that rice, that bulgur rice, when I smell that bulgur rice. So guys, for me, I'm a rice girl. That's how I save my money. That's definitely something that I buy in bulk. So again, if you know you like something healthy and you're always using it very often, go ahead and buy it in bulk. And while we're buying it in bulk, guys, we also wanna make sure it's healthy. Number seven is shop the manager special. We're on a budget, guys. We wanna eat healthy. We wanna maintain that slim waist. So, what are we gonna do, guys? It's just all common sense. Why not save a few bucks if you can? Why not? So guys, sometimes, I don't do this often, but it really works. Shop the manager special, okay? Depending, guys, study your supermarket, okay? Study your supermarket. Your supermarket that you frequent, your local supermarket that you frequent, study it like nobody's business. And you will know when they're having their manager special. And guys, manager special is usually, from what I've observed, it's usually later on in the evening because they're trying to get rid of stuff. Especially when I frequent my fruits and vegetables, store local store they're always having manager special and yes guys some of the fruits some of the vegetables might might be a little bit beat up okay just a little bit beat up guys that's fine it's okay you're not you're not gonna die it's okay you will be surprised that you could say and they're gonna have them sometimes in bulk because they want to get rid of that item or those items. So guys, sometimes banana, I'll do the banana. Banana is not my favorite fruit, but again, it's nice enough to go into smoothies or if you want to, if you like baking like banana bread or stuff like that, guys, I'm telling you, if you do that manager special on your favorite, especially when they have your favorite foods, your favorite vegetables, your, your favorite item in general, and it's healthy, shop that manager special. Number eight, which is our last and final way to stay healthy while doing it on a budget is make your own healthy snacks and desserts. Yes, guys. We all know this. We all know that you save money when you cook your own food compared to when you go to the restaurant, right? We know you save money when you bring your own lunch to work compared to when you go and you buy Chinese food or buy Italian or buy just lunch at work or that expensive, so good Jamaican food, that oxtail lunch. Guys, we all know that creating something yourself, making something yourself, it's gonna be so much healthier for you and it's gonna be cheaper for you. So guys, for example, the other day I started making my own vegan cornbread and I'm not someone to go out and buy cornbread, but I, already have the ingredients there and I didn't want to eat any more rice because sometimes I do get tired of eating rice even though I love rice very much and I make rice and peas and all these kind of different ways seasoned rice again guys sometimes you just want to switch things up and you want to try something different so I remember a few months ago I think that was around when COVID just started 
I decided to make my own cornbread. At the time, that's what I felt for. Because usually, when I feel for cornbread, which is rare, but usually when I feel for cornbread, guys, I'm guilty. Whole Foods, your whole paycheck. I will go to Whole Foods because they have their little packaged cornbreads. You pay for it by, by weight. And honestly guys, the size isn't bad at all. And guys, something about Whole Foods cornbread, it's so good. But this time guys, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna make my own cornbread with what I have. And guys, it didn't turn out as perfect as I wanted it, but it tasted good. And at the end of the day, I whipped up my ingredients together, which cost me much less than what I would have paid if I purchased that cornbread or that cornbread anywhere. At a supermarket, at a restaurant. So guys, sometimes, again, take your Anna make fashion, all right? So yeah, your dessert. If you want that Ben and Jerry's ice cream, I'm guilty. Even though it's vegan, it's expensive. Google YouTube guys how to make your own ice cream. I know back in high school, we were taught how to make ice in science class, in chemistry class. We were taught how to make ice cream. And it was so much fun. And it was so cheap to make ice cream from scratch in chemistry class. So guys, I'm telling you, another way to stay healthy while on a budget is cook your own food, make your own desserts, and make your own snacks. So guys, this is it for this video. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share, don't forget to subscribe, and guys, if you had a takeaway from this video, go ahead and share, 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 share with your friends and your families. And guys, if you are new here, once again, welcome. I am Nadia. This is my channel, All Things Now, and I will catch you guys in the next one.